Hi everyone, so I've been saying that I will create this video on how to create an AI twin and it's finally here. I'm going to show you guys how to create an AI twin. If you're new here, my name is Nello. I like to talk about tech data and AI. So if you're interested in any of that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You're going to love it here. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw the reel where I posted about my AI avatar or AI twin that I created because I was super busy and I didn't have time to show up to post content online. And I started experimenting with creating an AI twin. Now there's a huge possibility that the way that we create these AI avatars will change in the future. And the reason I say this is because Google IO was sometime last week, and I think that they have some really cool AI releases that will impact the way we create voice clones and I think even video clones. Now, as of today, the best way that I know to create these AI clones is through leveraging PayGen for the video and Eleven Labs for the voice cloning. These are the tools that you're going to need to take part in this tutorial. If you're a content creator or a business owner who is ready to take your AI avatar game, to the next level, leveraging something that is realistic and looks like you. Be sure to keep watching. Let's dive into it. Hi everyone. So I'm going to illustrate how PayGen and 11 Labs work. So let's dive into it. I hope everybody can see my screen. The first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to PayGen is the subscription. It is paid. And as you can see, they have a creator plan. They have a team plan and they have an enterprise plan. So you have to pick one between the three plans. Another thing that you need to know, the next step is to create your avatar. And I'm going to show you guys how to create your avatar. As you can see, I am showing you guys my current account. I have three avatars that I have created. As you can see, this is the one that I use for my Instagram video. I use this one for some of my training and my course materials. And this is one I wanted to use for YouTube video, but I didn't end up liking that. The one thing I want to say is that the way your mannerisms are in your video is going to be mirrored in your avatar. So you you want to make sure that your mannerisms are how you want to portray yourself in your video you want to ensure that you know your tone your facial expressions your hands if you use your hands a lot in your video your avatar is going to use the hands a lot so you just want to make sure that you're cautious of your mannerisms because that's definitely going to translate into your video the way to go about to create your avatar is you go to add a new look. And another thing I wanna add is that they do have a verification process. So how it works is that you're gonna upload a picture just for them to verify that you are the owner of the account because they wanna make sure that you're not impersonating anybody. So that's one thing that I did like about when I set up my account. When you select add a new look, you're gonna use your own video and photos. You also have the option to use photos. The platform is very self-explanatory very, very self-explanatory. As you can see here, it says things that are recommended, things to avoid. You can upload a raw footage. You can do record via webcam. You can do record via phone. They have many options for you to put up your video. Recommended two to five minutes. It can be more than 10 gig. And then they review and then they use it to train the avatar and then they create the avatar for you. So once your avatar is created, again, you need two to five minutes of video and you want to make sure that your mannerisms are what you want. This is how I kind of shot my avatar for my course and this are other ones. So you can kind of like create multiple depending on the video that you want. The one thing I don't like so far about HeyGen, and I don't know if they've um, improved it, is that you're stuck with that look. You cannot really switch up the look, the outfit and all that. So that's just one thing that you should take into account. So when it comes to the actual projects, here's how the projects work. As you guys can see on my account, I have a number of projects that I have done in the past. How the project works, you can just select your avatar. I'm going to show you guys here. This is one of my projects. And a good thing about it is that you can download and you share right after creating the project. Go to create video and then you choose the size. You can do a portrait or landscape depending on the avatar that you have created. I'm going to go with landscape and then I'm going to go with, so see where it says you choose the avatar you want to use. I'm going to go with this I'll go, let me go with this guy. So I'll go with this guy. Once you have a paid plan, you can remove the watermark. So the watermark is going to be there until you get a paid plan. Once you get a paid plan, you can remove the watermark. And then you add the script. So on this side, you see where it says script, text, elements, assets. Once you come on here and you add the script. So see where it says, welcome to the new era of video creation with HeyGen. I am going to add 
my name is Nello. My name is Nello. Okay, so if you play this, you can hear, that's just how it comes out. I wanna show you that you can add your own voice. As you can see here, Iberia Oyekwe's voices, I have one voice from Heijen. So you can add your own, I have my voice clone from 11 labs. So we're gonna go to 11 labs. As you can see here, it says 11 labs, 11 labs, 11 labs. This is my voice. I have already trained and integrated my voice into HeyGen. If that's something that you're interested in doing, that's the one thing that I do like about the HeyGen and 11 labs combination because HeyGen does really well with video. 11 labs does really well with audio and you can merge them together and create a very realistic avatar. So I'm gonna jump into another video where I will show you guys how to set up 11 labs this is it really once you put in your script you have your avatar you can go ahead and get it to say whatever you want to say go ahead and submit name the video let's just call this test i'm gonna call this test we're gonna submit this and as you can see in line for processing once it is done processing you can go ahead and download so all the videos you see here are videos that have already processed you can see it says five percent ready this is the one we just created and there you have it you have an avatar that says your scripts how you want it to be said okay so we're going to jump into 11 labs now as you guys already know 11 labs is one of the most popular platforms for voice cloning i'm going to show you guys how i created my voice clone so jumping into 11 labs this is the platform let us start out with their subscriptions so let's check out their subscription prices they have multiple packages they have the free one they have a starter which is five dollars a month they have the creator which is 22 dollars a month i hear that that's the best one to get the best value and then they have a pro version for $99 and then they have a scale version I believe that will be for enterprises and that is $330 a month now let's jump into how to actually create a voice clone to create a voice clone you do need a subscription but once you have a subscription it can be a starter the creator one the pro or the skill one the next thing you're gonna do you're gonna go to voices and then you're going to go to instant voice clone once you get to instant voice clone it's going to ask you to either record audio or upload an audio file you have the option to do either one so let's just go ahead and record audio i'm gonna just enable the microphone and just start recording i'm going to literally yap about whatever there's 10 seconds of audio required. I'm going to like just talk for a bit. Don't forget you can upload like whatever audio file you want to upload. This is just for illustrative purposes. So now that we have that, I'm going to pause. I'm going to go to next. I already have one. I'm going to name this Nello second voice clone. Add label. The language should be English. Accent, I'm gonna say American. This is good American. And then description, and then they have this. I hereby confirm that I have the necessary. Of course, same thing that HeyGen does. I'm sure they are trying to be careful. They don't want any situations where there's any case of impersonation or anything like that. You're gonna go ahead and hit save voice. It requires a subscription. I'm going to skip all of this. You say try out your new clone. So let's go and actually try out. So if you go to voices, my voices. So Nello's second voice clone. This is the one that I did initially. So let's try out the clone. So that's really is it. And you can take this and integrate it back into your HeyGen. I already showed you guys how to add the voice into HeyGen. And what that does is it actually uses your voice in your video. So you're not using the voice created by HeyGen. Let's look at HeyGen again. You have the option to add, uh, let's use one of these avatars. This is where you add your voice, your clone, right? So this is where it says voices. This is my integrate third party. So you come here where it says choose voice, integrate third party. And then you can see my 11 labs is already included here. All you need to do is take the API key from 11 labs, add it into here, and you're going to 
add your 11 labs account into your HeyGen and then you have the option for like different voices that are on your 11 labs account. So in my own case, here is my 11 labs voice clone. You can see this is HeyGen. As you can see, my 11 labs voice clone is here. This is the first voice clone I created. Once you have integrated 11 labs and HeyGen, you can then go ahead to start building your avatars. As you can see, it really isn't that difficult. All you need to do is go to 11 labs, create a voice clone, come to HeyGen, upload your videos. Again, another key thing you need to put account is my narratives, very important. And then you have your voice and your video integrated and you can go ahead and create your avatar. And that is it in this video. I just illustrated to you guys three different tools that you can leverage to create your AI twin. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys next week.